Well, uh, radiant. That's so definitely throws a monkey wrench in your plans. I do think that the good boys are kind of open. Those little broodlings do buff up the, the last hit chart just a bit. But also a little bit of extra farm to the Terror Blade. Ooh, I think we he's pretty mid. happy mid. Yeah, they're going to rotate in. Oh. Fortune's end. Almost there. They've got the dust, and it's still a kill. First blood drawn by Juan. He had an arcane going to connect, but he got right. the walk off just in time. Yeah, that was that was perfect timing from Weeha, but he's still not able to survive because they did have the dust, and they did have... It's a great thing about Fortune's end. It's a really good early game nuke. Snaking going to work on Soxa. He's going to have to... Get a bash and he will oh, find a bash and some good right click time walks the rest of that damage. Salve comes out though, so Zox might be able to survive here. The pounce comes out oh, and Claire will secure the kill, but it's going to be one for one exchange that does not favor the boy. He'll try to sit down. He'll be able to do so just barely. The dark pack almost did enough damage to bring him down. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they get off the fate edict to rather pure fine flames on top of the pastel's right click with metamorphosis. And of course, they have the dust up to secure the kill. So. Void Boys, uh, the, the most unfortunate thing in that situation is they do lose staking to nothing pretty much. He didn't get anything out of it, but some really good trades otherwise going good across night. the map. And then he gets on struck bottom, which yeah. probably shouldn't happen. If he's not careful, the Tom comes through and move avoids it. They really want these Broodlings. Schwann's healing up with the Purifying Flames, but it's just not going to be enough. I have no clear, no way clear, no battle. Broodmother is dominating. He's found two kills, was able to trade last time when he was ganked. Soul Ring, Phase Boots, I mean, Moo. They don't really have an answer for it. I mean, I guess you've got Chronosphere. That's sort of an answer, but not quite. Resolution up top. Echo Stomp gets the kill. Also sets up onto the Crystal Maiden. Kills happening over the map here. Oh, what a bash from Snaking. Makes it super easy as Juan comes in and secures the kill. Weehaw, that is a lot of damage with level 3 slash 4 stars from him. And he gets the Squishy Invoker. So it's just yeah. a bit of an unfortunate thing for, for Weehaw to have happen against him. And now Snaking back top again, but there's the Pound Stark back Snaking. Fates, he had a clear fine play, which is not enough damage or not enough field for to come through. Whereas uh -oh. with Juan, they've stayed too long. Sun Strike on top, not needed. Resolution finds himself another auto attack to get the kill. It out. All of this uh, killing has resulted in just about a break even, though I am a little nervous for Void Boys. I think DC have a little bit more straightforward plan of attack. We'll see a rotation from 747 into the jungle and catch training going on. Misery pressuring mid. Echo Stomp actually going to be off the mark as they TP back towards the mid. It's 747 in the front line. If he hits an arrow here, they'll get a kill, but it's a roar into Sunstrike. It's going to be a heal there, and he'll survive. Misery not going to be so lucky. A straight arrow does clip Weehaw. Nice arrow. Echo Stomp and follow Could up if they have kill. any more damage. They need Schwan. Oh, he has no mana for Purifying Flames. They just Should have to hit him. And maybe Good. sets Verify. it up. I think he's just dead. He has no Ghost Walk. Wow. That's two supports, like, with little to no mana. Net worth, he is low, low, low for the cores. He's actually at the, the very bottom of the pack. Wow. And, uh, I mean, that is because he is position four. It's a greedier lineup. We'll see resolution up top. Chrono into arrow. This should be a dead Ooh, spark. Nice. They've gotten more than enough damage. It's actually clairvoyance that gets credit for that kill. We'll go 747 is going to try to chase the Weeha, who I think might have scattered something out. He's heading back, and uh, no, he hasn't scattered anything out at all. This is going to oh, get caught out. Arrow misses. The echo stops there, but the sentry will finally get dropped down. He almost was able to escape that gank. If that stomp misses, then he's able to bring him down. And uh, not to oh. mention, Patsel's quietly having a very strong game, but he's about to get potentially found by resolution is yeah they're gonna sandwich him here in the mid lane slark with a shadow blade gonna rotate in a primal roar sun strike follow-up snaking Ooh. here there's the chrono but resolutions on the outside of it terror blade gets healed up by juan it's dc that get turned on beastmaster and brood fall quickly terror blade does end up going down snaking stands his ground against the crystal maiden able to find a kill there it's a one for three dc on the back foot we might just need to get the hell out of dodge Echo Stomp will connect. He oh, right arrow? next to a sentry. Nice Forge Spirit. Beautifully done. Sun Strike will come through, but it just doesn't matter. Fortune 10 slows him down, and one for four. Void Boys handily take. They lost four there. I was Moo the only one that survived, or did he fall too? I can't quite remember what happened after um, that fight. I think it was the Slark. Oh, that he did survived, die actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moo. Moody, because they're not completely safe yet. Oh, Resolution, they're setting up for a Shadow Amulet, Chronosphere. They're going to find it. Resolution's going to get caught. They need more. They need Astral. They need to stop. They'll find that. They have enough damage to the Earth Splitter. They're going to wait so that he doesn't take any auto attack damage. And they give the kill to Clairvoyance. What a cool plot. There are some advantages to the Shadow Blade. Let's get in that back line and still have a, a way to disengage. 747 walks into the pit. Primal Roar, follow-up Sunstrike. 
pushes him back as Roche falls the DC arrow. It's about equally farmed to the dedicated jungle Beastmaster. That really says something. Uh, Beastmaster, as we talked about, is really notorious for his farming speed on this patch. It's insane to see that. Up top, wow. 747 just destroys that. And then 1800 gold. And yeah, that's ridiculous. He's, he's got the Shadow Blade, Moonlight Shadows, and Weeha's in trouble. Chrono is going to come out. They need detection. The Astros on top there. They have plenty of damage. And that's the age is gone. Where were they getting vision from? I wonder. Rose is going to come spirit? up. Snakey's caught. They get off the beautiful freezing field. But there's the false promise. And Snakey will stay alive for the time being. Earth Splitter to zone out the rest of DC. Good Jewel Scepter up under resolution. But there's the spawn spiderlings. Which will bring down Snakey. It's time for retreat. DC cannot, or rather, Voidwoods cannot afford to let too much go here. And Swan might be the next to fall. They might lose three here if they're not careful. Clearpoint's very speedy with the Yule Scepter. Yeah, All right, pretty good fight for DC. There's the Glyph. It should still be a tier one tower for DC. This is the big objective here. It really opens up the map for the uh, Brood Mother. Mu taking a lot of damage. Oh, the Storm Storm's bringing him down, but he will survive. Now the pressure into the tower comes. Finish off by the Brood Mother Spider Baby, 747. Oh. Caught by the Frostbite, follow up pounce from Resolution, but the return damage is huge. Oh. So much from 747. Now the Echo Stomp, Pad Soul in meta, brings down the CM Moo, helps set up a kill on the Marana, and does actually get credit for it. Now the retreat begins. TP home. Drawing out verbal diarrhea at this point because of <laughs> evenness. <laughs> because of how this game is at this point. It's actually like. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I inhaled my tea by accident when that invoker got chronoed, and I'm, I'm still recovering here. Yeah, the one true kill. He's like really missing the other titan. Off. Like when the other titan is not there, there's no natural order, he's like, wow, I actually just don't do any damage. Yeah, uh oh, resolution looking for vengeance on 747. He has he no the Moonlight Shadow. And they have got century. one of the sentry wards, but he pounces out of it, or leap rather. Resolution trying oh, to get in to my. close the gap. Oh. Another sentry oh. use. Like, he gets oh, off Jesus. one more auto. Don't die, and they get it. Three sentry wards. They get the kill. Worth it. My god, yeah, it absolutely is. That marana has been picking on Slark in the jungle all game, and finally, it's a kill of his own. Snake oh, King is on his way up. Uh-oh. There are sentry wards down here, Snake King. What? This is the time what? walk down. Oh, no. Snake King, not like this. Oh, my god. good gracious. Why in God's name did that have been one of the better soil and instant replays we've had? I, I don't know if, if you'd realize how short that time walk is. He was like... Right oh, here, I knew. and he went like right here. Just it was so greedy. I can't believe he undershot it so much. Snaking those speaking the devil gets off the chrono to break up the fight. Sets it up on misery. Oh my! Out comes Earth Splitter and completely redeeming himself after that. It's too much. Natural order. The fresh maker. BB looking to siege the high ground. By Weeha. Uh, uh, Starting to transition into some Quas Wex here. Snake King goes in hard, but Arrow connects on Wee. It's a three second sun. Soxa gets destroyed by the TB, actually lives. Now BKB's pop dies to the damage over time. Moo's Moo dead. Goes in deep. BKB deep. down, no buyback. Luckily for DC, that's going to be the end of the push from Void Boys. But that's just a BKB death, and he doesn't even kill that pill that. Terror Blades, it's just like the natural build in like almost any game. Dragonlance, Mantis style, BKB. Oh, Hold oh, that thought. Snake King caught out. Oh no. my god, not again. Wow. You blink and you'll miss it. He died fast. Now Moo going in deep with the BKB on. They have Earth gem, Splitter. I believe. Hey, he'll make it out. Now on the backside, Resolution going in deep. He's looking for a target though. Astral Spirit comes out. Arrow flying through. Split the nines. Not going to connect quite yet. Resolution on the high ground will just back out as Soxa drops the ult. Another scattered fight, but on the back line, Invoker does some pretty decent damage. They lose the Crystal Maiden, now DC just starts to... Looks like Mu will be able to live for now. Do they have a gem? Is there any detection down? Yeah, Marana's the yeah, one with I the see. gem. Oh, Mu, yeah, he walks right into it. He learned all too well who the gem carrier was. He's gonna Shadow Blade up and again, look for a kill here, and he's probably gonna cut off Misery at his path of retreat. I mean, Misery does have sentries down and a blink, but he can't use it fast enough. Snake King deploys the Chrono. And sets a kill on one misery. And HP going down pretty quickly. Still 15 seconds. Until the Beastmaster comes up. Another sun strike into the pit. This time oh, it Rose Resolution goes in. He's looking for an Aegis Snatch, but can he get it off? Rose yes. dies to the Radiant, but snatched by the Slark. He'll fall, but he baits out an Earth Splitter. And it's honestly a pretty good play. Soxa on the high ground gets off Radiant Freezing Field, doing some good peripheral damage, but Slark gets 
Rockoid as he oh. comes back. Moo may suffer a similar fate. He's trying to make it away. Can't get to the high ground. He will go invisible just in time. They've got a gem, but it's on the backside. Speaking of the backside, it's Misery that comes flying on in. Primal Roar sets up the kill onto Marana. Pat Soul with the BKB turns and tries to fight. DC still hanging on for now. It's another one of these long chaotic fights. And now on the backside, Moo finally gets caught out as he walks into a sentry. Now back the other way, Pat Soul frozen by uh, the uh, CM there. We sets up the kill and it's another even exchange. Snake King trying to set up onto We. He'll be forced to time walk away. The Spirit, Echo Stomp on two. Maybe they can turn. No, it's just a full retreat from the Void Boys. Drag boys. Oh my god, they catch him with a frostbite. Sunstrike, not going to be needed. Snake King trying to find the kill. He gets it with his first auto attack. And they already took it out with Weeha. He went back to the well. Oh, so it's Snake King no. versus Misery. Snake King, does he have time walk? Woo. No, we can't get it off in time. And now the gems dropped on the deck. Who's going to get will be the tier two down attack. bottom. Marana, uh, what's that going to be? Maybe a Lincoln's coming in for her? Uh oh, Chronosphere. On the Crystal Maiden, that'll be a nice that, easy that's kill. Another one blink. We'll synergize with this Manta Diffusal build that it seems like he's he's moving into, and he actually does have the gold for the Manta. We hot charging in Tornado EMP to start off the fight. It's Snake King in the front lines, but again, they know he doesn't have a Chrono. He loses his right. mana, now gets Primal Roared, but False Promise comes out. Resolution, BKB oh on, my taking Lord. huge damage. Has to go into the Shadow Dance straight away. Patzel left untouched. The Void will not live through the False Promise. It is a it's on the way in. They'll use the Moonlight Shadow. Is this a fake back here for the Void Boys? Oh, it's set up onto the Invoker at the very least. Manages to sidestep the arrow, gets off the Ghost Walk. Maybe he can find a spot to TP out, or maybe not. That was awkward. What was we doing there? Void Boys, I think you just go for this push right now. I think you really do. Patzel's going to try to TP out, but there's the boss fight. And so split pushing mid lane is resolution, and they get the courier on top, which did deliver the Lincoln Sphere, so it does get the item there in time, but they already stopped one team from Fat Soul. You can see Resolution was putting pressure on mid, but he's actually leaving now. BKB, they're gonna turn this misery, gonna get caught. Misery is destroyed by Fat Soul. Brings him down with a couple of quick chops and now next in line. Damage, now they will have to take a straight up fight. And this is do or die. They need to be so careful of this Chronosphere from the, the Faceless Void here. Tier 3 tower down. They don't have a Glyph. Radiance Master up in 10. What do they do here, Mott? It's go time. I think they Next might just game. lose their melee racks. Yep, they sure do. Initiated on BKB. Good Use chrono. the Chrono. Catches on 2. Sets up onto the CM as well as the Slark. Resolution can't do anything. It's a pretty convincing fight for Void Boys. Starting to look like this could be their game. That's if you have a Vengeful Spirit there. You swap out the Slark. He's able to survive another day with Chrono Down. He can certainly work. But again, Resolution is just too underfarmed at this point. Patsel's Metamorphosis out of mana. So luckily, though, at level 3 ultimate, no mana required for Sunder. However, Snake and getting roared up. <laughs> Necro units bring him down instantly. By that coming in from Resolution, they want to try to find a fight here. And it's easier said than done as Weeha is on the hunt looking for Patsel. Again, no mana to work with. He's got Sunder and he's gonna have to use it here. Good air on to Moo. He stop him from fighting. There's the stop as well. Patzel gets up the Sunder on to Weeha to stay fresh and fighting. Resolution has to pop the Shadow Dance. And Patzel getting kited, slowed down and brought down to his knees. And in the end, his face is in the dirt, getting a lot of these to this farm. But it looks like they've committed to their decision for now. Or have they? EMP Tornado coming through. Definitely. Oh my Making god. He's gonna get false promise just at the end. And Rezo. He is going to take a lot of damage. He's able to get the Shadow Dance off in time, but everybody teeping back home. They might just have to let this rush go to DC for now as they have to deal with top lane misery. Roar is up. Now Clairvoyance. There's the Moonlight Shadow coming up, but they have the vision from the Necro Warrior. Meanwhile, they're fighting over the Rose Pit. Nobody's dropped just yet. Although it looks like Shrawn did fall in the end as he was trying to TP home. Arrow's going to come in, and it's going to miss on everybody from DC. It's the fight has split between two different sections of the map, and nobody's died. Pats will still metamorphosis. Looking for Moo, he pops the BKB, going to work with the Scotty, can't find anybody, and there's that Aegis now picked up, finally. Slark has some breathing room here, as it's been so close. Misery continue to push the top, but now the freezing kill, Patzel oh. can't get off the center, yes he can! In time, barely, gets the kill on Soxa, but now Patzel will slow to cold snap, has to be the contra image, that Ebony Glass comes through, and they will lose said Terrorblade, Leap Boy from 747, he'll try to keep the upstairs, the tornado in time, Sunstrike on top, 747 avoids it, but does get killed, and Rezo finds himself a double in the process.
It if will sneaking, be repelled. If Snaking dies there, he has no buyback, and then the game might just stand in. Rezo's looking for Claire. He's in trouble. He doesn't have buyback, or no, he does. Stephanie Glass falls from his roar. They're throwing everything at him. The air splitter comes out. will do some nice damage, but not nearly enough. Rezo going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batsel. Has to pop the Shadow Dance. Still has that ages, mind you. And again, Snaking, he's got no... Oh, the bash! Fish bash stuff, and he's dead for 80. Are they just going to lose off the back of this fight? I can't oh even believe it. Oh, my God. All the buybacks coming now, but Terra Blades down. He's out of the game he's for 90 out. seconds. It's DC all the way. BKB popped by 747, oh, but he's relegated to the it. well. Mod there actually going to do this. Three down for a minute without buyback. All five alive on DC. It's a ridiculous net worth swing of about 6K gold. Look at that gold graph. It is a nosedive in favor of Digital Chaos from 7,500 deficit to 10K lead. In the blink of an eye, they have completely broken this game open. Two lanes of barracks, and I think it's over. I think they just straight up won. They actually just did. No Terror Blade for 60, no buyback for six minutes. Moo has cheese still. His BKB is back up in 10. Weeha, he's got all of his abilities. Probably refreshed, ready to go with the Doctorine. The cheese is popped, the glyph will go, and Resolution looking for more blood. He'll find 747, the puts up, the leap's not away in time. And G Rezo is dominating. Baby. All five will fall momentarily to Sunstrike hit. Oh! He uses himself just narrowly in time, and he will survive. But everyone from DC, healthy, fighting, fit, Megas comes out. All five with Ibac. I cannot um, believe it. I cannot believe DC just won that game off of one bad road engagement that turns into death after death after death after death. The, the ridiculous part about it isn't that DC won, it's just the fashion that they did it. They were never so far behind that they were completely out of this game, but Void Boys were at a pretty good spot. I mean, now it was literally like almost a 10k lead to a 20k swing after so many kills back and forth. It was just a great team fight setup with Void Boys losing too many cores off the back of that Roche fight. They the heat and now they're forced to get out of the kitchen. DD take it 2 0 and drop them down oh, to the lower bracket. That's heartbreaking. Ooh. That is the most heartbreaking way to lose a game that you will ever see. Now, by no means were Void Boys uh, ever in complete control of this game. By no means were they ever, you know, going to win outright. But they felt so good. They looked so good at that point in time that it just felt as if all they had to do was secure Aegis.